Hello, and welcome to my course on Python. My name is Daniel Hoffman, and I have been studying Python for a little over 10 years. I will be teaching you the basics of Python for a non-programmer, and will be going through all of the little uh, tools that Python provides to give you uh, a complete control of your computer. From the absolute basics of the little uh, games that you can play with it, all the way up to more advanced techniques, such as creating a line graphing tool. So, let's get started. I have here the Python Wikipedia page. It goes into a lot of detail with a lot of programmer-oriented words which don't really explain why a newcomer would choose Python to learn instead of some other programming language which may be more widely used. So, allow me to explain. Python is an extremely simple programming language for a non-programmer to learn. It has a lot of English spellings in a lot of its commands, and in a, low, a basic Python program can usually be understood by a non-programmer if they spend a few moments to study it. This helps immensely when you're, in your, when you're learning Python, and it also does not have a lot of the other little uh, subtleties that other programming languages may have that you have to keep your eye out for. You do not have to manage a lot of the other things that other programming languages force you to manage. This can make programming in Python a lot easier than it would be in some other programming language. I myself use Python for whenever I need to make something quickly or test something rather quickly because I can write in Python something in a lot less lines of code than I would in some other programming language, even if it may not necessarily run as fast as if I had uh, fine-tuned it in some other programming language. So Python is often used for quick, for quick and dirty stuff, for little command line things, but it can also be used for much, much larger projects. The uh, Python uh, programming language comes with a, uh, a text editor, a programming text editor, which is written entirely in Python. It is also used as a scripting language for a number of games. It is used for advanced mathematical calculations for uh, scientific laboratories. So despite it being a quick and dirty programming language, it is also has many, many advanced uses, which can be used in a wide variety of tasks. So I have here the actual Python website with some of the basics Pythons. So these are just general math. And as you can see, it looks very, very similar. One divided by two, two to the third power is a little odd, but another division, uh, division when you're with rounding down. So, so some of these are a little more esoteric, but others look almost exactly like they would be if you just wrote them out yourself on a piece of paper and did the math. A lot of Python is like that. You will have a lot, there, there's, you will have a lot of uh, statements and phraseologies in Python that will look extremely similar to if you just wrote it down step by step on paper. And that become, is the beauty of Python. Anyone can learn it because it is extremely similar to what they already know. Their natural language is extremely similar to Python at its most basic level. And once you've learned the core, you can then start going into the advanced techniques of Python which will let you do the extremely fancy stuff required of the uh, more advanced programs like a text editor. So, I will be teaching you from the absolute beginning, where you know absolutely nothing, all the way up to and including those advanced things like the text editor, or more likely in this case, I will create a line graph editor where, where you can give it a mathematical equation like y equals mx plus b, and it will show and it will draw out your lines. So, Welcome to my course.